you to welcome back to my video this is the continuation of my previous video how you can connect to your postgres uh, database using java okay so in this video we'll be checking how you can create a table in postgresql database using java so we have reached uh, till how we can connect to the database using this uh, connect db uh, dot java class and we have added uh, the java file link to the class bar and once again we are going to test it while, while you are going to run as and uh, just uh, select the java application it will show the connection is successful which means your uh, connectivity to your database uh, is uh, successful okay so this was the database postgres which we tried to connect here i have just created one more database under my name gnature work and uh, we'll be connecting to that one from here okay so i'm just uh, changing the name from here i'm saving it and running it as the application you can see it's connecting successful okay now this uh, java class is just uh, a main method and uh, we are running uh, the main method to get the connectivity okay so uh, for to use this connectivity uh, from outside a class we should have a method to uh, call the connectivity and return that connection class okay so i am just changing this main method to a method which can return me the connection of uh, this uh, postgresql okay so it's not a static i'm not making making it a static i'm making it as uh, uh like uh, uh, i am removing the static keyword here okay so let it return a connection object here so let it be connection from java.sql okay and i'm getting name uh changing the name as uh, get connection okay so there won't be any arguments here so once we are calling this get connection it should return me a connection object of the connection to the database so a return statement as uh, the connectivity okay that's all we have just changed uh, this uh, method to a uh, method so that we can call the connection okay so again i'm going to create a main method here so let's try how it works let me create an object for the connectivity class and uh, straight away i'm calling uh, the connection okay so if i'm just calling i can call get connection if i'm just calling that let me see what's coming here it is returning uh, connection is okay and uh, it will return a string with the connectivity information okay so wherever we need uh, the connection we can just call uh, this uh, this uh, two line of codes okay i'm going to create a new class here so let it be create table okay so inside this create table class we will be uh, writing a method to create a table inside the postgres database okay so create a new main method here and i'm copy pasting this uh, connectivity okay, connectivity to the create table and from here also i can just try to run the java application you can see it's uh, getting me the connectivity now i'm going to create a connection object so that i can receive that connection into that connection equal to null and straight away you can just receive this connection into that connection object like this so once uh, this method is called the connectivity will be uh, successful and if connectivity is successful it will uh, the connection will be available in this uh, connection object okay now just uh, create a try catch block to get if uh, there is any exception coming there is a chance of exception okay so e dot print uh, stack trace will give us what type of exception happened okay now let me uh, write a query to create the table here so it's a normal table i'm going to create so create table i'm giving the name uh, of the table as employee and uh, there will be uh, like a, a three three columns i'm going to create okay so sl number first one let it be int of 255 or you can give a, any length of that and for let first uh, uh, second column be name and let it be a worker of length uh, 100 or 200 and then i'm going to give a third column as uh, um, address okay so let it be a care of uh, 200 again 
now I'm going to specify this int as a auto increment value and uh, it'll be the primary key okay so uh, to set the SL number as an auto increment value you can write like this auto underscore increment okay so you don't want to put values for there it will be a sequence starting from one and you have to specific uh, specify the primary key as uh, SL number okay it will be like this SL number yes that's all so the query to create the table is okay now we have to execute the query so I'm going to have uh, I'm going to execute this uh, query with the help of a statement object so I'm going to create a statement object here now we have to import this from Java SQL just uh, uh, press here and just press control space it will automatically uh, suggest you to import it from the java.sql okay so it's actually java.sql import it from java.sql and uh, to this statement you have to call the connectivity okay so you, you can call it like statement equal to connection dot uh, create statement okay now with this uh, connection to the statement here you can execute the query like uh, statement dot execute update and you have to give the query inside this one so let me copy the query here yes that's all so once uh, it is uh, done you can give a finished message here to just let you know uh, the program has been executed and finished okay now let's go and try running it as a java application so if i'm just going to run as and select in java application you can see there is an error we have made a mistake actually the auto increment is the keyword from mysql okay so we should change this into cdl okay this is the equivalent uh, keyword for auto increment in uh, uh, psql okay so you can specify this here itself you don't want to specify this outside the price primary key or not okay yes that's it let's try running this again from java application you can see yes you can see the table has been created successfully with no errors okay. now let's go to the pg admin and see how the table is there okay let me refresh this now let's see without refreshing it's coming or not in public there is table it's empty now like now let me refresh uh, the database completely and now if i'm going to the tables you can see it should have created the table employee and uh, the column he is here sl number name and address okay so right now there is no values in that you can see if i'm just selecting all rows it's a blank table okay so hope you got this how you can create a simple table in uh, in psql using java and in my next video i will be checking how you can add a value in this table and uh, read update and delete operations in this table okay so hope you got this if you have any doubt in this please comment below i will try to help you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching